Hi, everyone. This is the voice behind the noise. And I am Myron. After the disintegration of the Soviet Union, Russia inherited most of the Soviet Union's nuclear arsenal and became a nuclear power alongside the United States. Although due to economic and other factors, Russia has gradually dismantled its conventional military forces to a level that can maintain its regional strategy, Russia still insists on vigorously developing nuclear weapons technology for a long time, making the United States so fearful. So, what nuclear weapons technology has Russia developed that makes the United States, as a superpower, so afraid? Today, this program tells you about the backbone of a fighting nation several nuclear weapons in Russia. The nuclear weapons that I want to introduce to you first here are not strategic nuclear weapons like the Tsar bomb in the history of the Soviet Union, but a little trick in the Russian nuclear arsenal, the Melka self-propelled artillery. The reason why nuclear war has not broken out today is because the nuclear weapons of great powers often have the ability to destroy an urban area, or even a country. However, if the power of a nuclear explosion is limited to effectively killing the enemy without harming civilian facilities, then does the use of nuclear weapons not need to be so restrained? Malka self-propelled artillery is such a weapon that can effectively kill the enemy while limiting the power of nuclear explosions to a controllable range. This self-propelled artillery has the ability to launch 203mm caliber tactical nuclear artillery shells. The strike of the nuclear artillery shell can effectively kill an enemy unit, but it will not cause large-scale damage to an area, so that the Russian army can effectively control the size and intensity of a war. Next, we will introduce the big guy in the Russian army, the Samolt Intercontinental Missile. The Samolt ICBM is a heavy-duty ICBM propelled by a liquid rocket engine developed by a Russian rocket design bureau. Compared with the earth-shattering explosive power like the Soviet Tsar bomb, the advantage of the Samolt ICBM lies in its ultra-long-range launch distance. According to statistics, the Samart ICBM has a launch distance of up to 18,000 kilometers. And this means that the Samolt ICBM can hit the missile from the launch base in the Arctic to the Antarctic position, giving the enemy a cross-hemisphere strike by surprise, making the enemy's missile defense system hard to guard against. According to Russian media, the Samolt ICBM entered large-scale service last year. The third section introduced to you is the Russian Topol missile. In many film and television works, the Topol missile has become the signature weapon of the Russian army. The launch distance of the Topol missile can reach more than 10,000 kilometers, and it can also cover the mainland of the United States. However, the real strength of the Topol missile lies in its flexibility in launching. It can be launched both in the missile silo, on the missile launch vehicle, and even on roads and bridges. In addition, the number of warheads that a Topol missile can carry can be up to 10, and it can be launched to different areas, which further increases the difficulty of intercepting the Topol missile. After introducing Russia's ground nuclear force, I will introduce Russia's air nuclear force. Here I have to mention the signature of Russia's air force, the two series of bombers. The two series of bombers is a military industrial project developed since the Soviet era. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, this project was mainly inherited by Russia. Among the two series bombers, the most famous is the 2160 strategic bomber, nicknamed White Swan. This strategic bomber is the world's longest range and fastest strategic bomber. It can carry 6x-55 cruise missiles, or 12x-15 short-range attack missiles, all of which can be equipped with nuclear warheads. The strategic bomber represented by 2160 symbolizes Russia's secondary nuclear strike capability. In addition, the 222M and the 2 series of bombers also has excellent performance and can undertake part of the 2160's air missions. After appreciating Russia's air strategic deterrent force, let's take a look at the Russian military's naval strategic deterrent force, the Type 955 nuclear submarine known as the God of the North Wind. The North Wind submarine is a nuclear submarine powered by the energy generated by the nuclear reactor, which means that the voyage of the North Wind God is theoretically infinite. This allows the god of the north wind to lurk in the deep sea for a long time, and after approaching the enemy's sea area, launch missiles or torpedoes to give the enemy a surprise blow. The god of the north wind can carry 16 rounds of hammer missiles, and each missile can carry 6 warheads, which makes the god of the north wind currently play the backbone of the Russian Navy's strategic strike mission. In addition, the Borei is the second largest tonnage nuclear submarine in the history of the world, the first is the Typhoon-class nuclear submarine in the Soviet era. The nuclear torpedo that can cooperate with the nuclear submarine is the nuclear torpedo, and the newly developed Poseidon nuclear torpedo by the Russian army is the leader in the nuclear torpedo. According to statistics, 
The diving depth of the Poseidon nuclear torpedo can be as high as 1,000 meters, while the maximum diving depth of most countries in the world is only 600 meters. This means that the Poseidon nuclear torpedo can evade torpedo detection by most countries and approach the target silently. In addition, the underwater speed of the Poseidon nuclear torpedo can reach 100 knots, which is much higher than the 40 knots of the U.S. nuclear-powered aircraft carrier. The explosive power of the Poseidon nuclear torpedo is also enough to destroy the existence of an aircraft carrier battle group. According to statistics, the explosive yield of the Poseidon nuclear torpedo can reach 100 times that of the Hiroshima atomic bomb and trigger a level 9 tsunami, making a country's coastal cities disappear. This is the basic summary of Russia's nuclear forces. At the end of the video, I would like to say that although these weapons are powerful, please do not forget that the original intention of developing weapons is to defend peace. Okay, that's all for today, see you in the next video.